This is a custom floating staircase in a one-of-a-kind $18 million triplex penthouse apartment located in the heart of historic Greenwich Village. My name is Eric Conover, and I'm going to take you on a tour of this one-of-a-kind luxury penthouse in New York City. Now, if you're already subscribed to my channel, you know that in this series, we tour some of the most incredible luxury properties around the world. And we have some pretty crazy places coming up in future episodes, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Welcome to the Triplex Penthouse Apartment at 66 East 11th Street, located on a beautiful tree-lined street in Greenwich Village. This penthouse has 7,693 square feet of interior living space and an additional 2,300 square foot rooftop oasis. Entering the penthouse, we come off your very own private keypad elevator, which takes you to this nice landing, entering the middle floor of this penthouse apartment, which leads us into this open concept living and dining room. And the first thing you see when you enter this main floor is this incredible cast iron floating staircase. Now remember, this is a triplex apartment. This is three floors. Most penthouses in New York are duplexes or sometimes even only a single floor. This has three floors, but for now we're gonna start here on this main floor and head off to the left. Right off this main entryway and stairwell, we have the open concept living and dining room. Here we have a nice little lounge area that's currently staged. And the first thing that you notice are these beautiful coffered ceilings. These ceilings really add that level of dimension to the room and it adds a very regal feeling to the space. Moving from this lounge area, we head to the formal dining space, which features these very thoughtfully designed nine foot high arched windows with views to the north of the Empire State Building right in your dining room. We have a very modern dining room table with seating for 10. And one of the things I love about this space is that it's not your average cookie cutter penthouse. It's little details like these arch windows, the coffered ceilings, all these things come together to tell the story of a very regal penthouse apartment. Moving from the dining room, we head into the kitchen, which is built for entertaining. Front and center taking up the entirety of this kitchen is this massive island adorned with Calcutta marble. This is literally a dream kitchen. It has top of the line appliances, more than enough storage, but we're gonna break it down and we're gonna start over here against this custom walnut cabinetry taking up this whole far wall. We have wine storage for 102 bottles right next to the refrigerator. It's kind of like a little game. You don't even know what you're gonna get opening up these panels. Oh shit. A hidden passage which leads into the pantry. The secret pantry has a washer and dryer. It has an oversized sink, top of the line appliances, garbage disposal. I mean, this is one of the cooler kitchens I've ever seen and disappears right into the cabinets. Like you never knew it was even there. Making our way to the back wall, we have again that custom Calcutta marble. We have the full suite of top of the line melee appliances. Even look at this sink. Have you ever seen a marble sink this size? This thing is, it's beautiful. From this beautiful, fully custom kitchen, we're going to make our way across the apartment, passing by this sunlit atrium. But before we enter the master wing, right off to the side, we have the home office. And I love this home office. You have the bar cart set up, some pretty unique art on the walls. You have these two long black shelves down the entirety of the space. And I really love how this office actually doesn't have any windows. It's a place where you could come, put your head down, and just get work done. From the master office back out into this main hallway, we have the master wing suite. And the thing I love is that it looks open concept, but here we have the hidden handle, which then opens up your pocket doors, which is nice because you can close off the master suite if you want the privacy, or if you prefer that open concept, the door pockets right into this wall and the hinge disappears. Entering the master wing, we have this nice sitting area for getting ready. Then off to the right here, we have the master bedroom. This bedroom is larger than most apartments in New York City, and that doesn't even include the closet. Front and center in this master bedroom, we have a king-size bed with a custom headrest built into the wall behind it. We have these three oversized windows with southern exposure, giving natural sunlight to this space all day long. 
Southern facing exposures are the most coveted in New York City just for the fact that you have that natural sunlight. And of course, like I mentioned, the walk-in closet with the two doors which pocket into the walls, revealing more than enough space to store all of your clothes. It even has a vanity in here for doing your makeup, getting ready. From this oversized master bedroom, we head back into this sitting area and enter the master bathroom. And boy, is this place impressive. Front and center, we have the Calcutta marble soaking tub with a view of One World Trade Center to the south. You can see all of downtown right from your bathtub. You might hear this slight echo. That's because this bathroom is that large. And you would expect nothing less from this grand ensuite bathroom. Heading out of the master bathroom back towards the main hallway, we enter the most impressive part of this penthouse. This staircase would be impressive in a home anywhere, but the fact that this is in a penthouse in New York City, this is incredible. And then right above we have the glass solarium, which is letting in all this natural light the entire day. We'll get to that in a bit, but for now let's head down to the lower level, which are the living quarters. And right off this stairwell, of course, you have the elevator landing. So just in case you're not feeling all those stairs, you could opt to take the elevator. Then making our way down the hallway off of the landing, we enter one of the guest bedrooms. And this is a quintessential New York City room. You have the two large arch windows facing north with views of classic New York City brick buildings. Even if this was a standalone studio apartment, this would be breathtaking. Additionally, this guest bedroom has a beautiful ensuite bathroom complete with a deep soaking tub. And I really love the tan tile that they chose for this bathroom. Leaving this guest bedroom, heading back out to the elevator landing. Off to our left here, we have the family room. And this space is jaw dropping. It is a dream and I cannot explain enough how large just about 8,000 square feet is in a penthouse in New York City. Again, you have these two oversized arch windows facing north with views of the Empire State Building right from the family room. Leaving the family room, we're gonna head back down this main hallway on the living floor. Off to the right and we enter the second guest bedroom and this guest bedroom could easily be another master bedroom it's the same size as the one upstairs and currently they have it staged as the kids room and i have to say whatever kid or kids have this as their bedroom one day my gosh i'm envious of course this second guest bedroom has an even more impressive bathroom we have the standing glass shower and this incredibly large deep soaking tub Leaving this second guest bedroom, we head into the third and final guest bedroom. When you think of a typical guest bedroom, it's usually something smaller off to the side. Every single one of these guest bedrooms could be the master suite in a home somewhere in America, definitely in New York. But here in this third master bedroom, just to show the size, we have a king size bed right in the middle. This third guest bedroom has five oversized windows, again, pouring natural sunlight into this room. I have to say this is one of the nicest apartments we've ever toured in New York City. And obviously this third guest bedroom has an ensuite bathroom, which would rival most master bathrooms. Standing glass shower, this incredible marble vanity with the sink built into the marble with this beautiful mirror taking up the entire wall. And I just noticed this, but another one of those attention to detail pieces, there is a light on the floor. So in the middle of the night when you wake up and you have to go to the bathroom, there's a floor light illuminating so you don't trip and fall, making your way to the toilet in the middle of the night. That's luxury. Leaving the final guest bedroom, walking back out into this main atrium area, the most jaw-dropping part of this triplex penthouse apartment. I said triplex, you've seen two floors of this place. We're gonna head all the way up the stairs. You could take the elevator, but we're gonna get a little workout. Let me check the top floor. We are at the very top floor of this triplex apartment and we're entering the solarium. This is a New Yorker's apartment. If you just happen to have 18 million lying around, I mean, you have views of the Empire State Building. You have a sunlit solarium, open skies, letting in all this natural light down through your custom staircase. And that's not even the best part yet. Walking out onto this terrace, heading towards the south, we have a truly massive sitting area that could easily have 30 people in this section alone. Looking downtown, you have views of all of the iconic buildings, 
One World Trade Center, the Woolworth Building, the skyline is dotted with those iconic New York City wooden water towers. Then making our way to the northern section of this terrace, we have unobstructed views of the Empire State Building and Uptown. The opportunities are endless. This is truly a Greenwich Village cabana in the sky. I want to thank you so much for watching this tour. Comment down below your favorite part of this New York City apartment. And with that, I will see you in the next episode.